Hi, I'm Mike Skinner. Um, I uh, have been a writer of public transportation my whole life. I'm legally blind. Uh, in 2010, we lost uh, the dial ride service, at least the flexibility of that service. And uh, I went to the city to ask what could be done. And a group was formed with uh, civic and uh, religious and uh, other community leaders uh, to analyze the problem. And what became of it was a WeCab. Uh, and uh, I'm not only um, affiliated with the program on the board of uh, directors, uh, but I do part-time volunteering for dispatch. And I'm also a writer. And I'd love you, love you to meet uh, one of our fantastic drivers, Kathy Bailey. Hi, I'm Kathy Bailey, and I've been a driver for a couple years for WeCab, and I'm also a dispatcher. So I not only get a chance to meet Mike as a rider, along with his wonderful dog, Cato, but also um, I get to talk to him on the phone with dispatch lots of times. So, How many volunteers do you have in the program here at Out of Mound? Uh, we have about... 35 drivers, they're all volunteers, and we have eight dispatchers. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, nine folks on the board of directors. Um, they're all volunteers. We just have one paid, one or two paid employees mm -hmm. right now that um, mm -hmm. keep the wheels moving forward. So it's, it's really a grassroots organization in the true sense of the word, uh, people coming together in the community to volunteer to solve a problem. How are you working with Carver County to set up a similar program? We're meeting with uh, people uh, affiliated with the various cities. The county commissioner, I believe, is involved, uh, mayors, uh, some com uh, clerical as well as uh, business leaders. And uh, we're having a meeting on the 24th of June coming up here, and uh, we hope to formalize a steering committee uh, that will then be uh, responsible for running WeCab in the Carver County area. And then through our corporate office, we will be facilitating all of the marketing materials and um, necessary uh, training that needs to be done uh, uh, to keep uh, the program going. And I think we'll close by looking, saying hi to Cato. Hi, Cato. This is Cato. He is my service dog. Sit, pal. Sit. And uh, I got Cato in 2000 and what was it? 2012. 12 it was. Yes, I've had him for two years now. And uh, Cato, look at the picture. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so we've been uh, together now for a couple of years, and he was the, the result of uh, about a year and a half wait. Um, I had a very bad fall at the airport, fell about 35 feet. And so suddenly a day it dawned on me, I, 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 need, a, I need a guide dog. <laughs> so, and uh, so it took me about a, a year and a half to, to uh, have Cato come into my life. And uh, he's with me wherever I go.